All right, y'all, let's go ahead and uh, get this cabin tour over with before I leave the room. It is debarkation morning, so this is the first opportunity I'm getting to do a full walkthrough of the cabin. This is Carnival Venezia, room 2222, a regular inside cabin here on deck two. we'll go ahead and start at the door on the back of the door you've got the muster information life jacket stuff all of that um, do's and don'ts etc and um, pretty standard there this is one of those rooms where you have to have a card in the door normally this is your room key but my cabin steward left this for me to use uh, so I'm assuming that was okay for me to do all week because that's what I did that's the main light switch there on the other side we've got three little hooky things um, I did use these for various things this week, um, so yeah, very useful to have those uh, since the room is kind of on the smaller side. Let's come back this way. We've got a whoops, closet here, two-sided closet. We'll open this side first. This is where you're going to have drawers, the safe, shelving, all of that, and then this side is where the hanging spaces, we've got life jackets down there. And then I had plenty of hangers in here, but as you can see, the space is quite small. It would be hard, uh, especially on a longer ceiling like I was on a nine night. Uh, if there were two of us in this room, we would definitely be a little tight with closet space. Coming around this way, we've got the vanity here. Let me turn on this light. There is a des designated vanity light as well. Um, <clears throat> Big mirror, kind of decorative frame, all of that. The phone, the hair dryer is in this drawer and that's just not a drawer. So anyway, only the hair dryer drawer. There is a stool and that's the remnants of my heart-shaped towel animal trash can down there. The power situation, we've got USBs there and a 220. Then we've got two 120 volt there and then the 230 European conversion, whatever one there. Um, and that's the vanity switch that we used a second ago. All these QR codes and things around for room service and the phone directory and all that. Let's hop across this way. That's my stuff, pardon that. But there's another vanity space over here. This is the TV, remote, storage for water, all of that. And then we've got the refrigerator down here which is good to have, nice and cold. Definitely uh, froze a lot of my drinks in there, so um, it works good. Some towels down there, some storage, etc. This is an adjoining room, so I have a door here. If you don't have an adjoining room, that'll just be a blank wall. There might be like another art piece or something, but uh, beyond that, there's uh, not much going on on that wall. This bed is in the Big bed configuration because obviously um, I was solo in this cabin, so this does split into two twins if needed. And then the nightstands on either side will go in the middle. The power source over here is only on this side of the bed. It's two USB ports, which is great to have by the bed. Uh, this is a newer ship, so that makes sense. And then we've got a master power switch for the lights over there. Nice big art behind the bed showing off Italy and stuff, uh, which fits the theme of this ship since this is Carnival's Italian concept. Come around this way, just a blank wall there, and then it's back to the vanity. So not a whole lot going on in here. It is nice and decorative, um, you know, kind of upscale compared to other Carnival ships I've been on, but still pretty minimalist. Um, let's go ahead and go into the bathroom now, because that's an important part of it too. There is a step up as per usual. You've got this kind of brownish tile in here. Well, you know, faux tile. Uh, the vanity here, decorative fits the theme. It doesn't extend all the way across though. So you, there is a missed opportunity here for some more counter space. Um, so I wish that that would have extended all the way over because it is a little bit limited on putting stuff in here. We got shelves though, which are good to have on either side. There is a power outlet there as well. Nice big decorative mirror mirror here, which of course matches the mirror in the main part of the room. 
more shelving here. On this side, we've got the commode, um, toilet there, flush button, instructions on what to flush, what not to flush, towels on that wall. Nice big shower here, um, good kind of like rectangular size, uh, and also has a glass door, which a lot of Carnival ships do not. So uh, it's nice to have that little handle there. And then we'll take a look at what the actual shower is like. Pretty standard. You've got shower, gel, shampoo combo there. I did use that, it was fine. Um, but if your you know, hair is sensitive to being dry or oily or whatever, you may wanna use your own stuff for that. And I did use uh, my own like facial stuff and whatever cleansers, etc. That's the shower head. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it for the bathroom. We do have this thing that pulls across. It'll come out and plug in to over there. And that creates sort of a closed line for you to dry your swimsuits or whatever you need. Um, and there is another trash can built in down there. So that's about it. Um, pretty standard inside room, comfortable. Beds are firm, if you're wondering. Um, I've heard that you can get a mattress topper if you need it for a little bit softer experience, but overall uh, pretty firm on the mattress front and all of that. But yeah, I guess that's it. We'll do a little spin here. I wanna thank you all so much for traveling with me. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. We'll talk soon and y'all have a good night.